Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? And welcome to another video. My name is Nathaniel Morton, and I am a sports performance coach who specializes in basketball players. And in today's video, I'm going to take you through an isometric focused vertical jump training workout that you can use to increase your vertical jump and jump higher. If you've been following my content for any amount of time, you know that with my athletes that I coach online, by the way, if you want me to personally be your coach, link will be down below in the pinned comment and the description of this video. But if you've been following me, you know that I like to put my athletes through three to six weeks of eccentric focused workouts, three to six weeks of isometric focused workouts, which is where this video comes in today. And then three to six weeks or even a little bit longer of concentric focused workouts. This is called triphasic training made possible popular or even invented by Cal Dietz. So let's get into this video. What I have right here is I have my phone and I have the workout on my phone and I'm going to watch this workout with you. I'm going to react to this workout. I'm going to explain why I am doing each exercise and why you should do each exercise to increase your vertical jump, but let's get it. The first thing that I did was a six minute warm up of sled pulls and sled pushes. So I loaded, I think 50 pounds on a sled. Normally I load 50 to 100 pounds on a sled and I just pulled it and then pushed it back and forth, back and forth, just to warm up my legs and warm up my VMO. Then what I did after that was I did three sets of one minute of invisible jump rope. Normally I have a jump rope, um, but I actually forgot it this day that I went to the gym. Um, so invisible jump rope works just as well. And I wanted a low level plyo just to work my ankle complex and just to fire up my central nervous system for the rest of this workout. Then after I did my ankle jumps, I got into my strength training workouts. Now I do want to point out that I did not do any plyos for this workout. So if you wanted to do plyos, if you wanted to add your own plyos to this workout, you could, I would just do it after the warm up and before all of the strength training exercises. So if you wanted to add sprints or shock pause jumps or depth jumps or any other plyos, you could add them to this workout before the rest of the strength training exercises that I'm about to take you through. But let's continue. The first exercise that I did was back squats and I did 10 sets total. Now, my first five sets, I did deep squats, squatting all the way down. And then my last five sets, I did joint angle specific squats, only squatting down a quarter range of motion specific to my vertical jump joint angle. So set one through five, I used lightweight and I slowly added a little bit more, a little bit more until I got to a top set of three. So set one, I'd use 30% of my one rep max for five reps. Set two, 40% plus the bands for three reps. Set three, 50% plus bands. Set four, 60% plus bands. Set five, 80%, but no bands for three reps. So if you're wondering why I use the bands and what the bands do, what the bands actually do is they make it harder at the top range of motion for your squats. So when you squat down into a deep squat, at the bottom of the squat, the bands are not doing anything, okay? The bands are not in play. At the top of the squat, the bands are working and they are making it harder to do that top range of motion. If you look at a vertical jump, when you go up for a rebound or a dunk, you do not squat all the way down in a deep squat before you jump up in the air for a rebound, okay? You squat about a quarter range of motion very quickly and then you jump up in the air. So what the bands do is they actually make it harder and more effective in that top range of motion, which is specific to a vertical jump. Then set six, I used 80% of my one rep max for three joint angle specific squats. So you're only squatting down a quarter range of motion specific to your vertical jump joint angle. So look at the angle of your hips, your knees and your ankles. When you personally do a vertical jump, that is the angle that you wanna squat down to for these joint angle specific squats. That's why they are called joint angle specific squats because they are squats specific to the joint angle that you use for a vertical jump. Then set seven, eight, nine, and 10. These were my working sets. I did 90% of my one rep max for three reps. And also these last four sets of squats, which were 
for my working sets, I superset with six reps of single leg Romanian deadlifts each leg. I was using an 80 pound dumbbell for these Romanian deadlifts. I think that was a little heavy because as I look at my form in this video, my form is not the best. So I probably need to drop the ego and drop the weight and use like a 50 pound dumbbell for these single leg Romanian deadlifts. Also, if you'll notice for these isometric focus squats, you are squatting down very quickly. You are stopping the bar as fast as you can. You are holding that for four to five seconds in your joint angle, and then you are exploding up very quickly. So the isometric happens when you squat down, you hold the isometric four to five seconds, and then you explode up. And that was for three reps. After the back squat superset with single leg Romanian deadlifts, I did rear foot elevated split squat with an isometric focus, superset with band squats and band good mornings. I did three sets of four reps each leg for the rear foot elevated split squat, obviously with a four to five second hold. And I did three sets of 10 reps of the band squats in the band good morning. So for the rear foot elevated split squat, you want to actively pull yourself down quickly, stop yourself, decelerate yourself as quickly as possible, hold that isometric for four to five seconds, and then explode up, and that's for four reps. And then with the band squats and the band good mornings, it's three sets of 10 reps each, being as explosive as you possibly can. After that, I did monster walks for two sets of 10 steps forward and 10 steps backwards, and this is great for your glute medius and great if you're an athlete in general. And after the monster walks, two sets of 10 steps forward and backwards, I did two sets of 10 steps each direction, so 10 steps to the left, 10 steps to the right, and then again for a second set, 10 steps to the left, 10 steps to the right of lateral side steps. And that was it for my legs. That's it for my strength training exercises. Like I said, if you wanted to add plyos before that, you could definitely add plyos before this. But after these strength training exercises, I just did some core with my buddy Travis. For core, we did medicine ball partner crunches, one to two sets of 20 reps each. One person is throwing the medicine ball while your partner is catching the medicine ball and putting it back on your shins, then you crunch up, throw, crunch, crunch up, throw. So if you do have a partner, try this one. It's a fun little core exercise. I wasn't gonna add this in the video, but I figured you guys might want to see just some different types of stuff that I do for core. Then after that, we did rotational leg raises. One person hangs on the bar while the other person puts their hand out and you just do one to two sets of 10 reps total, five reps each, five reps each direction, doing uh, leg raises, hanging leg raises over the other person's arm. So just a little bit of core that I like to add. Sometimes I switch up my plyos, I switch up my core um, just to do some new and exciting stuff. So guys, that is it for this video. This was an isometric focused vertical jump workout that you could use to increase your vertical jump and jump higher. Like I said, these are some great strength training exercises. Using an isometric focus is good to help your body recruit more motor units, recruit more muscle fibers to be used in your lifts and in your vertical jump. So that's why I like to use an isometric focus focus for three to six weeks. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. Other than that, like, comment, subscribe, comment, jump for a free vertical jump training program. If you want me to personally coach you, link will be in the pinned comment and in the description of this video. But let's get it. Take this to the gym with you and let's make some gains. Young beast mode from the East Coast. A young kid with a West Coast feel. And I don't even know how the West Coast feel. I'm from where it's cold. The city made a steel where a lot of Fold, only couple keep it real right Back still keep it real tight Keep two L's just like Cool J My heart's cold as Ice Cube Praying it's a good day I'm at a crossroads But in a good way I